walk like a normal person, Carol. Oh. Hmm. Come on. Didn't even give him a chance to draw his sword. Killing them like that. It's my favorite. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. Not a Radovid fan, so. The HMS Oxenfur Tretagor. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. Rock. Ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. I love Tamaria. I don't know if Geralt should love Tamaria since he's a witcher, but I do. Playing chess again, eh? There you are. Need something from me, your majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. She kind of tried to kill me. Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends. Reconvene the lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Can't reconvene- Lady Ugh. Eilhart is known Can't reconvene all the lodge without Kira. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Need to think about it. Don't take too long. I wouldn't want Philippa to escape again. You may go. Your arms. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Fuck. <laughs> I know that wasn't intentional, but it was the greatest thing. Greetings. Play cards? My, my, a witcher. Something tells me I'll finally get something interesting to do. Sure doesn't look like you're short on work. So, this, a Redanian army order, but there's no pleasure in it. One after the other, same thing time and again, no finesse required. Looking to perfect your craft? Of course. Crafting's like plowing a maid, falling to a rut, and well, sure, you'll get the job done, but there'll be no hoops, no hollers, no standard ovations. So, got any special requests for me? Help me stay on form? Still talking about armor, aren't we? Aye. What else would it be? He does play cards. Show me what you have in stock. 
Let's play cards. Gwent wouldn't be bad. Still waiting to get a 200. Think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Got to find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. Hmm. Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. Yeah, sure, why not? All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you. And that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Not really. Not entirely. Tough. You'll need to pick it up as we go along. There's no time to explain everything to you. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit, and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide, and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Okay. Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pulvetta. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Will I get a say in any of this, or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours. Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theatre. Naturally, you'll play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. I don't think I want him to explain. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I've two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer?
Uh, the first one. Let's go with the Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. <laughs> I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Ah, uh, drama. Hmm, you're right. A drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. <laughs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry hey, about thanks. that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? No. The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. This is where Madame Irina's troop performs. Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mamas in rehearsal. Madame Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. I read that as we'll be disturbed there for a second. It made no sense to me. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed. Though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. Have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? <laughs> Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did there. occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I was wrong. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. 
Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing. Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the dogs, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Would they be, like, trustworthy Thanks now? for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Don't want any coin Not from you. Just another In fact, I'm willing hand. to pay I'm you, provided hand. you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh. Afraid that's impossible. What? Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threaten me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately, they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end. No clue what to do. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. <laughs> so you're the ones. Oi, right, Fatso, look who we got here. Is it just me, or you got cat eyes? Right, no. he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the puffins alone. Worms they insulted Iraq Emelfart, called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Yeah, do that first. Poets, come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then every time they fought. <laughs> Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. God, help! help. Keep it That was easy. Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much! Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right? I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper! Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it how <clears throat> you want to fight? Both. A witcher versus the beast of Metina. Killer instinct versus primal rage. I don't really care if like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking is what we do. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me gratis. See, Hal's no fan of money. File Romans. Stay in the desert. He'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on. Same time. 
Five of centuries. Seems a witcher unfair. Against the two-headed dragon of Metal. A little unfair. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. I'd rather pay you. Agreed. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. Here. Double the wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Ow! Finish him! Got something special right now! Fucking. I saw his nipples. That's a Twitch brand. Oh, they're only level 12. You know, let's, let's get these two separated. Punching me. Like the guy standing back there. It helps. Nice, nice, nice. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Like he's gonna start cheating. Boom! I fucking win, bitch! Well, well. Ain't often you get such a lovely trash in, I am. Man, speechless. But I can see it on his mug. Bugger likes you. Time we got some rest. Nice we'll camera angle that one dude's want. armpit. For free, hey, Al. Your coin? Have it back. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. Thanks, man. Ah, there you are. I managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I have very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Who is playing the witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him, but I'm confident Oh god, he'll it's gonna be me. Newcomer to the troop. It's gonna be In me. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, <laughs> you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, Leo. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? Maybe. Did he just gulp? 
So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Hmm. Role's yours. Talent and experience Trump looks in my book. I'm honored. I shall give it my all. She didn't take that as a slight, not that it was. So who do you see so. playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique. But he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier. Outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober. Or that he'll show up at all. Uh... Yeah, I do. Let's risk it and give the role to Maxim. He's had a good spell of late, so maybe he won't let us down. And if he does? These performances bring in much coin? Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coins. Of course we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. <laughs> Thanks. All right, got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? Huh. Sure. We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. <laughs> Well, it we've sounds no time to so lose. Come to the stage. uncertain. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> As they told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, my child, are you going to wear hose and a codpiece? Come, Geralt, you must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. I love Zoltan. He was my favorite character in the second game. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you a tale moving and heartbreaking. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, the delight of audiences far and wide, Maxime Bollier. And as the princess, renowned artiste, beloved queen of the stage, Irina Reynard. Act one? Oh man. Oh man, here we go. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. Lest that dread beast take my daughter's hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show at tonight's beastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. And a grateful queen shall reward your woes. To slay beasts most foul. Was for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, 
thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast, but a fiend and a maid. No, this must cease. Beast doesn't rhyme with cease. I was, I was okay Gathered with figure in Witcher, fair but and noble to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. <laughs> Maybe he hid in the cellar, or a barrel of beer. <laughs> That might have My been. dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. God damn it, dude. It's stealth we'd kiss, um, uh, uh, deceitful like liars. Put my Tonight faith in you. shall it end. Be my wife. That's my plea. Our hearts torment over. We shall love for centuries. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Ah, it is not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. Soon all shall see my true monstrous figure. Hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. He looks off. I don't know. <laughs> don't if the them. maid loves him, it seems we've lost her. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword. Let fly the killing stroke. Stop. Stop. Beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. There we go. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. I got that one right. Tis our tale's end, oh good folk. Not again. And its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just. I think I got a that one right too. Doppler's friend. <laughs> but you, foul page, in chains you shall end. God, call the guard. Remove the traitor at once. Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the tray, I scum in the dungeon. The wrong ones are. Don't be horrible. afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! He's right. I, Mummers, don't know the Eternal Fire's commandments. Blasphemers! Ought to teach them respect for the faith! What are you on about? Shut the fuck up and clap before I tear you new arseholes! Tear me a new one? We'll see about that. On your feet, boys! Give him a taste of hell! In the name of the church! Give us a hand, Witcher. Can't take him on our own. I was about, I was about to say, if I, get, if I get an option to fight them, I'm gonna say yes. 